Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video and to learn OneNote. We want as many people as possible to learn how to work effectively with tools like OneNote, Office 365 and Surface. So please refer this series to your friends and colleagues. If you really want to have an impact with your team, the most effective way is to set aside time each week to improve your digital skills. You can set up this process in your organization with our Microsoft 365 coaching programs. Check out the link below to see our instructor facilitated coaching programs and contact us for more information. Are you ready to get productive with OneNote? OneNote has some great features designed to help you to take effective meeting notes. If you use Outlook for your mail and calendar, in OneNote on the far right hand side of the home ribbon, you'll see a button that says meeting details. When you click on that button, it goes into your Outlook diary or calendar and shows you a list of all of your meetings for the day. Click on one of the meetings and it will insert all of the details from Outlook directly onto the page for you. On that page now, you'll see the meeting subject, the meeting details as they've come through from the body of the meeting invite, and also a list of all of the participants, the people who were invited to this meeting. And when you think about your meetings and how they often get started, those are critical pieces of information. Have you ever been in a meeting where somebody said, what's the agenda for this meeting? Or could you print me a copy? Have you also had the experience where somebody says, who's meant to be here? Is Joe meant to be here? So now that you have all that detail on the page, you've already answered those questions and you can get straight in to getting on with your meeting. The beauty of retrieving that information directly from within OneNote is that you don't have to have Outlook open on your device. And one of the worst things that you could do for your meeting productivity is allow anybody to have Outlook open because people will be almost immediately distracted by unread emails. So now that you've got the details that you need on your page in OneNote, take your notes. If you're typing notes or handwriting notes, just take them below the meeting details. Once you've finished with your meeting notes, you can click on the email page button. Now you could email any page, but because this page is special and it has the meeting details on it, when you click email on this page, it's going to do two things differently. It's going to pre-address this email to all of the people who are invited to the meeting. And it's also going to put a link back to the source of those notes. Now, if I receive this email with this link and I don't have permission to access the notebook, then I won't be able to see it. But if you had taken these notes in a team meeting notebook that is shared with me, when I receive your email, I'll be able to click on your link and go and see your page of notes and then contribute to your page of notes. This opens up enormous possibilities for you to collaborate with your colleagues on not only the meeting details and the meeting minutes, but also the action items that come out of your meetings. So now that you've been introduced to a new collaborative way of note taking, you're ready to get productive with OneNote. One of the best things that you can do with OneNote is take your meeting notes in OneNote. OneNote has some, uh, OneNote is designed, what did you say? What was that thing we just said? OneNote has some 